this lesson, we're going to be talking about different tools that you have available in After Effects. So last time, we've talked about the layout. We've talked about starting new compositions, adding new footage to your projects. Uh, for this one, I created a couple quick layers that we can uh, demonstrate the tools with. And as you see here, I, uh, there's two layers down here on the bottom. There's this deep green solid, and this is some text. You can't see this is some text because this eyeball over here on the bottom left is turned off. If I turn that on, you can see it. So that's one thing you will be playing with is toggling on and off layers to see them. Um, you could also uh, rename your layers by just clicking on it and uh, pressing enter. So I'll do that and call this green star. Um, if you double click a layer it will open it up in this layer editor um, and you know you, I'm not going to teach you about that right now so I would just go back to my composition tab. So we're talking about tools though. So first you have your selection tool and when you hover over these tools it shows you in parentheses the hotkey for them so for selection tool it's V so selection is basically um, for clicking and moving things around on your canvas um, and selecting different layers so if you have both layers up I can select my text or my star I can select my text move it around move my star around it also helps when you are um, changing the size of something so you can grab a corner of something and change the size um, if you grab a corner and hold shift down it locks the aspect so you can't stretch or squeeze it and same with the text you can click and drag and change the size of your text that way the hand tool, this is for moving your canvas itself, so it's not moving the layer, it's just the canvas. And this works well with the zoom tool, so I'll show you both of them. So the zoom tool is hotkey Z, and it automatically shows up as uh, the positive zoom magnifying glass. So this zooms in, and if you press the alt or option key, you can turn it into a zoom out. Uh, tool. So say you zoom in but you want to move downwards you can select the hand tool and move the canvas down if you needed like change something down here on the bottom left start point or whatever. You can uh, so I press Z and zoom out and you know move your canvas around that way. You can get your canvas back to cent being centered and fully uh, viewable uh, full full size by just clicking fit up to 100% down here on the bottom left of the composition canvas. The rotation tool is for rotating text so or to layers rather so you just click a layer and you can rotate by with the rotate tool. So that's pretty cool. Um, the uh, camera tool, this is more for if you're doing 3D work, which we'll talk about in the future, so we won't discuss that now. The pan behind tool, a hotkey Y, is very special because, and you're going to use this a lot, is especially if you are um, bringing in images or different layers, and I'll show you more of that in the future of when you would actually use this, but it basically moves the anchor point of your layer. So right now my anchor point is for the star is in the center and that's great. So when I rotate it with the rotate tool um, it just rotates from the center. But what if I want it to rotate from one of these points? I take the pan behind tool, I s click and move and I, you can see that it moves um, it moves this little circular cross in the middle. And I'm just going to move that to one of the apexes. I think that's what you call it. And now I go to my rotate and see it rotates on that point. So that's kind of cool. So for text, uh, right now my 
my anchor point is down here in the bottom left, and that's because it is left justified. Say I want to move it to the middle so that I can rotate from the middle. Just go ahead and do it like that. So if, if it was on the bottom left, and I use the rotate tool, it would rotate from the bottom left anchor point. So that is the pan behind tool. The shape tool, it creates shapes, so you can um, create new shapes, just like so. If you hold down the shape and button, you will see different types of shapes. So you can do pentagons, squares, circles, etc. If you have a layer selected, this also asks, acts as a masking tool. So as you can see, I created a mask, but we're going to talk about that more in the future. Same with the pen tool. This is for creating masks, like so. Or if it's not selected, you can create um, custom shapes. All these things we'll talk more about in, the f in future lessons. Text is for adding text. So you just click the text tool and type. And that those are the only tools I want to show you for now. These the rest of these are more for image editing. You got the brush tool, the clone stamp tool, erase tool, roto brush tool, puppet pin tools. Those are very advanced topics that I don't want to get into yet. But those are your basic tools in After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you have any questions, please let me know. You are a star. Believe it. I totally believe it. You're taking this class and you're going to be making some awesome, awesome After Effects projects in the future. So believe it. You are a star. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. Stay safe. If you need any help, contact me through videoschoolonline.com or just message me through the course sites. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.